What's up everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel, welcome to Forza Horizon 4, and today I'm going to be building another icon. This is going to be Dom's Charger from the first Fast and the Furious. So it's not going to be a lot of massive changes to the car, but it's going to look sick in the end, I guarantee it. Anyway, before we do any of that, there is a word from our sponsors, which I'm going to end up reading out. I do actually have a sponsor for today's video, which is sick. Manscaped decided to sponsor this video, and let's see what advertiser me has to say about it. Now Manscaped hooked me up here with a perfect package which includes a bunch of stuff like a ball deodorant toner, a pair of boxers, a traveling case and obviously the lawnmower 3.0 which is a water resistant body trimmer with advanced skin safe technology which is supposed to reduce the nicks and cuts on your, well, you know. Now if you want to get this or anything else from manscaped.com easily just go to the website and don't forget to use code dubs at checkout for 20% off or you can just click the link in the description box below. Thank you Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Right, so that was kind of nice of them. Not bad. Anyway, let's actually get started with this video and see what we can do here with this charger. So obviously stock, it's not going to be very amazing to drive. So let's go ahead and modify. I think visually, we can get this thing to be very, very close. Now, I know that this charger, I don't know if it's this specific car, obviously, but I know that the, uh, the Fast and Furious charger has gone through many different changes over the years. But since I'm going to be taking a look at the first one here, the one from the very first Fast and the Furious, I want to see what sort of uh, what sort of upgrades and things we can do to this car. Visually, is is that it's important. We cannot change. First of all, we can change the actual grill itself, which is a little bit different to the one that's in the movie. I don't want to do anything there. However, for our bonnet, we can change some stuff, and we can obviously add. Uh, you know, well, <laughs> we can literally make it look almost identical just by adding that. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing some beefy tires. Um, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give it race tires. Okay, it's not gonna be a drag car. It's not gonna be any of that. Uh, even though it is technically used in quarter mile, I do still want to use uh, just normal racing tires on it. Uh, and then obviously for the rear, I'm gonna go as wide as possible. Why not? Why not? Now for our wheels, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna try to see if I can find a set of wheels. These are very very close, honestly. I, I might even just go for these, um, these American Racing wheels. They're very, very close to the actual wheels that are in uh, or on the movie car. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and change a few bits and pieces on it. Um, for wheels, I'm going to just have a look around and see if I can find anything that's remotely similar. Even these, except, like, bigger. Yeah, these American Racing ones are the closest ones I could find to the, uh, to the movie car. Obviously, they aren't the exact same, I don't think, but... They're very, very close. So I'm going to put these on. Obviously, the wheel size is a lot bigger. So, I'm just going to change those to be a lot bigger as well. We'll go with 18s for the front and then 18s on the rear, which suit the car a little bit more like that as well. I really wish you could de-chrome this thing. Just fully get rid of the chrome. Oh, my God. I can bring that tire width out. Or not that tire width, the track without on the rear end. Okay. It's a little better. Uh, now, I'm going to stick with the uh, engine that's in it now. But I will go ahead and modify the absolute hell out of it. The absolute hell out of it. I'm going to do many things to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much put race spec everything else on it. Just so it's going to be nice and quick. Apparently, this engine is supposed to put out 900 horsepower. Uh, so, we'll see if that's the case here. Um, on race suspension, it's a little low. Rally suspension seems more like it. I, I, I honestly feel like stock suspension is perfect for that car. Because it looks like that in a movie. Uh, we'll go with sports suspension. It's not too low, it's not too high. Um, everything else I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade to race spec. I know I can just change the ride height. Actually, I, why don't I just do that? I'm just so stupid. I can just go to that and then just change the ride height. I'm so dumb. Right. With the standard engine. No supercharger, no turbos, or nothing like that. Let's just see how much power we can get out of this. 556, 566, 583, so about 600 horsepower we got out of this thing. 600 horsepower out of this engine. I'm kind of tempted to keep it stock, just because, like, I mean, it's it's close to the carousel, like, it, it's, it's mad. But 900 horsepower, supposedly, this engine puts out. I'm going to go ahead and just do this, and then now it has 900 horsepower. Okay. That's mad. 900 horsepower. Weighs 1,350 kilos. It looks good already. 
Obviously, it needs a different paint, which is technically just black. But I honestly do wish that we could get rid of a bunch of stuff. Actually, I think the... Uh, I think the car in the movie also has a roll cage in it, so I'm going to put a cage in it. I'm going to put a cage in it. Yeah, it does. I just remembered that it does. Okay, cool. Uh... Also, the wheels need to be chrome. I don't know if they are chrome right now or they're just painted silver, but I'm going to go ahead and pretty much buy all of this. Which is fine. And now, if I go... What if I go into body, body kit presets? Oh, it already has... If, if I just go into body kit presets, it'll already have it. The exact same preset that I chose. Except the my wheels are bigger. Literally the same thing. Roll cage and everything. Okay, I'm going to lift the car up slightly. Uh, right now, because it's a bit too low compared to the car in the movie, so we'll do that. What does that look like now? It's a little better. It's definitely a little better. If I go to design and paints, then I paint the car black. It's just a, a nice gloss slash metallic black. I don't want to change anything here on that, so it's just it just looks like this. Like I said, I just wish you could dechrome it. I just I wanted to get rid of that chrome so bad. And then the wheels obviously have to be painted chrome. So I'm going to go to the wheels, go to special colors, go all the way over to chrome, which is here. Very nice. Add that on. Uh, there's no window tints on it, so I'm just going to leave that the way it is. And that, I think, ladies and gentlemen, is probably as close to the car itself that we can possibly get. I think so. It looks great, first of all. It looks brilliant. Especially in all black. God, I love the Charger. This is easily my favorite muscle car to come out of America. It's absolutely gorgeous. And those headlights as well. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so, so good. Look at it. That is a gorgeous car. I really, really like that. That's definitely going to be the thumbnail for the video, anyway. That's so nice. Okay, I really want to drive this thing now. I really want to drive it just to see what it's like. <laughs> oh my god! That sounds so good! It's fast! I mean, it's 900 horsepower and it doesn't weigh much. It's fast. Look how big and bulky it is. Look at this view. Oh my god. Immediately crashed it. But look at this view. How good does this look? Oh, I really, really like it. I really like it. I honestly wish that we didn't have to put a supercharger on it. Just to keep it, like, properly fully NA. What a mad car. What a mad car. And obviously it breaks, breaks traction very easily as well. Can this thing... Actually, match that Supra. I wonder. I wonder if this thing can actually match that Supra. I don't actually know. I don't think it has drag radials in the movie itself. So, I'm not going to keep them on. I'm just going to keep these tires that are on it now. Let's just do a quarter mile. And see what sort of time we can get. Okay. Let's try to see if this is a nice 10 second car. I, I, I really do wonder. Okay, let's actually see if this is a 10 second car. I really do wonder. With these tires on it, nothing crazy. Okay, let's go. I might have to short shift. I messed up my gears. I need better gear ratios. I need better gear ratios. But it is a 10 second car though. Now since it is tradition on the channel to take the cars that I build out drifting, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this car. However, I haven't put any drift suspension or, or any special tires on it. I'm going to keep it the way it is, just the way I built that. I just locked the diff, and that's pretty much it. But let's just see 
how good this thing is. Handling was. I'm not going to try to do any crazy angle or anything with it. I'm just going to take it downhill, sideways. With the setup that's on it now. It's a very good car. It's very, very, very good. No drift suspension, nothing like that. I've just... It's just got the race suspension, slightly raised, obviously. You guys have seen exactly what I've done to the tune. Anything else... Whatever you haven't seen is literally just me locking the diff, that's it. Oh my god, even in fourth I'm able to just send this thing sideways. It has so much torque. I think it has well over a thousand newton meters of torque. Beautiful car. I adore this thing. I'm pretty sure the Fast and the Furious is what got me to love charges. It's the one in that movie, in the first one especially. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I mean, it's almost identical to this thing. So, like, I mean, I can't really say anything else, but it's literally almost identical to this car. And I love it. I would love to own one of these in real life, but oh my god, would it be... Would it be a pain to own? Like, it, I literally have to, like, take care of it so much. It's an old classic car. From America as well. Even just getting it here would be a mess. Anyway, it's sick. I love it. I love it to bits. If you guys want me to build any other cars, make sure you guys tell me down in the comments below. I'm definitely down to uh, take suggestions. Any more iconic cars, any cars that got you into racing, into, just into cars in general, anything from other video games or anything from movies, let me know down in the comments below and I'll go ahead and try to build them in-game. This one wasn't really that much, um, you know, going into customization all that sort of stuff but it's still an iconic car and i definitely wanted to build it plus people have asked for it so that's cool anyway that's pretty much it thank you guys again for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye